going everyone? It's Liam Carson here and we're reacting to another episode of The Vampire Diaries with episode three of this first season. I'm looking forward to getting into it after the first two episodes um, have been really, really great so far. I've uh, been immersed into um, the story so far and it's just been a very, very fun experience. So I'm excited to see what episode three um offers uh, as we of course had uh, both Damon and Stefan continue to be at each other's throats um, more so of course in episode 2 than uh, what was established in episode 1 but yeah uh, we had uh, Caroline as well who uh, seemingly has had a bit of an unfortunate fate with the fact that um, obviously she was sleeping with Damon and uh, Damon decided to take a bit of a snack on her so uh, whether she's dead dead or whether she's um, you you know now a vampire remains to be seen but uh yeah it was uh, quite unfortunate for her in the last episode but what wasn't unfortunate was um the pairing of elena and stefan it seems like they have uh, taken that big step so uh that will be exciting to explore especially with uh when you know the moments where shit will hit the fan when that will unravel because obviously it's a coming uh, especially with the whole Catherine situation so so, yeah, I am sure that's not going to be a situation that's going to be swept under the rug. So, yeah. Uh, with that said, though, why don't we get into this episode of The Vampire Diaries? It's episode three of season one. Let's go. Do that. He did warn you, I guess. Because it would be a waste of a lamp. Just... Oh, okay. Okay. This could have gone a completely different way. Oh shit. Oh no. Boyfriend. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, they're walking. Walking. Really? Walking. Yep. Really? Are you just right into the sensor? You're a dick. Why well, you just stand there looking Yeah, like why why are you trying to push Matt's buttons? No. Leave Matt alone. Ty, don't Ty, don't Ty. Really? Are we are we are we being addicted to that? Oh, Shut you up! John F. Kennedy assassin. Oh my God! Martin Luther Same King. Same day as Doctor Who. Ed. Lincoln. 1865. Roe versus Wade. 1973. Brown versus Board. 1963. This is scary. Good. Stop, somebody. He's gonna Quickly. be absolutely humble. 1953. <laughs> oh. Hand in your resignation papers, buddy. You just got, you just, you just got served. Oh boy, I would not let that slide personally. Pretty good. Well, I won't be asking you who won the Super Bowl in '71. '71 was. <laughs> Force of habit. Just to see you get knocked on your ass. Or else in a year. He, he, like, Go. he's gonna put Don't it through so much hell. I got the other brother. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, girls. I, uh, busy. All right, let's start with the double pie turkey hurdler. What do you oh say? Oh, my God. Go away. Just go away. I think he needs a buddy pass. Really? You don't get to walk on the field and act like you own the place after five minutes. Oh, okay. shut up. Enough shut up, Tyler. Else. I do love the, the super he rig, like, especially how it zones in on someone rather than, like, amplifier volume for 20, 25 decibels! And if you want to live a normal, happy human life, then I want that for you. Maybe I can do it, too. But I can learn... I can see so much bullshit falling from your mouth. Person. Maybe there's hope for both of us. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. <laughs> Why don't you tell Stefan about your family? Um, divorce. Yeah, he might know oh, them. My dad. <laughs> no, about the witches. <laughs> oh, Bonnie's family oh. has a lineage of witches. It's I wonder who that could be. It's Damon. It's, it's, it's Damon. Surprise! Oh, Carol said you were and Damon. Dinner, so <laughs> oh. Hope you don't mind. Yes, we do. <laughs> hmm. 
Get in here. No! We're just finishing up. It's fine. Just come on in. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. Cheerleader type, Elena. Oh, it's just because her parents died. Yeah, I mean, she's just totally going through a blah phase. She used to be way more fun. Caroline, you're spilling too and much. I'd say that with complete sensitivity. Yeah! Yeah, I bet! I'm sorry, Elena. I know what it's like. I don't need to impress her. I already won. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Hands are going to be thrown dead. here. Because it seems like I'm standing here waiting for you to man up. Shit! The next time I see you, Gilbert. No, next time I see you. Oh, boy. That department. She's also very complicated and selfish. And at times, not very kind, but very sexy and seductive. Okay. So okay. Dated her first. Oh, I was gonna say, did he have a thing for her? Nicely deduced. Okay. Nothing. Seems a little unrealistic to me. I'm sorry about Catherine. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. I lost her too. Now, add on to a comment about the moving on part. Oh, interesting. Mm, I don't think so. Oh. Oh, shit. Go see if Elena needs help in the kitchen. Yeah, Stefan's picked up you on that. I'm following night, and I'll do with your little cheerleader whatever I want to do, because that is what is. You normal. are messed up. Got that leverage. Damn. Oh, oh my. Okay, that was a dream. Ooh, that was fucking creepy. Oh. Yeah, and that's not creepy as well, is it? If you wear it for me. Catherine had this. Good luck. Is that rose that I smell? It smells no, like it's Catherine. It's <laughs> I know that sounds Not weird, but. Love it. Yeah. You really want to pick this fight, buddy? Oh, shh. Oh, hey, 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 Jeremy! Oh. I mean, that's. Oh, no. Put your head up, you're bleeding. I'm fine. Yeah, you smell, but it was. You missed. It's not my blood. See? I'm fine. No, no, no. I, I saw it. The glass cut your hand. It's it okay. was... She saw it clear as day. Ironically. It's almost kickoff time. All right, so um, I'll uh, I'll see you after the game. Oh, questions! I waited through me, and it was cold. And... And what? It was death. It's what I imagined death to be like. Oh. Lovely. Wanna kiss me? What a dick! Oh no, this is messed up. Hey! Woo! I don't know what game you're trying to play with stuff in here, but I don't want to be part of it. And I don't know what happened in the past, but let's get one thing straight. That it's hey. just that. She's not Catherine. She might look like her, but she might not be Catherine. Let me guess. Vervain and the necklace. I admit, I was a bit surprised. That's how she resisted. It's been a while since anyone could resist my compulsion. Where'd you get it? And you hate me because you loved her and you tortured me. And blames him for. Because you still do. And that. Yeah, for, yeah, for what happened to Catherine. That is your humanity. Shit. Holy damn. And what's this? Oh no. Oh no! Nah! You piece of shit! Any time, any place. Or screwing with my sister, or pummeling my girlfriend's kid brother. A girlfriend? Look, I don't know how to tell you this, but she dumped your ass. You're really you wanting real? to get you hit me? murdered, bud. This was over the line. 
Even for you. Do you not realize you're a dick? Boom! No good. No kindness. No love. No emotion. Oh my Only god. Who must be stopped. Please let this be another dream. Like... No. No. I don't... No. It was a very, very great episode, though. Um, and, you know, the first two episodes were really, really solid stuff in terms of how they kind of established things, uh, even with both brothers. Uh, there's obviously going to be a big focus there. Um, and um, with what episode one established, episode two really exemplified that. And then episode three just steps it up a notch because of these complications that surround Damon's character. With the prospect of um, he has a thing for Elena. Stefan acknowledges that. Because um, especially with the fact that he... Um, um, he he knows that Catherine and Helena uh, do look alike, um, so there's going to be reminders for uh, Damon and uh, with with Stefan. Um, I think I mean I feel like he does genuinely care for uh, and 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 want to make things work with with Helena, but I do wonder if uh, he's going to try and make sure that he does right where as things didn't go too rosy with Catherine if that makes sense so yeah um but still um it is a very very interesting uh, prospect because of um the fact that there like it's 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 not just a complication that is thrown uh, in regards to Stefan and Elena's relationship um Poten uh, potentially because they are setting things up in a very very interesting way but also it does delve into that human side of things for Damon so obviously with these first couple of episodes well well with these first few episodes uh, we acknowledge that he can be very very sinister that he can be uh, that he might be the bad apple on of of the of the bunch but um, it is great to showcase that um, that in this episode uh, there is proof that he is not completely void of of emotion and all of that. There is still layers to his character that you know make you wonder. Hmm. This it, it, it's uh, you know what there might be moments where you might sympathize with his character throughout the show. So, um, and uh, you you kind of you you kind of got that vibe, especially when he was talking to Elena when um. Uh, they reflected on Catherine and how um, obvious uh, how there was this affirmation about that he did have a thing, um, and that he blames Stefan for what happened. That there, it, it does add on to the torture really that he is w willing to put to put um, Stefan through hell. Like um, I guess Damon feels like he uh, put it was put through hell with the loss of Catherine, etc. So, yeah. Um, you know, you have everything stripped away from you, I would say, and then, you know, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Like, especially living this immortal life, um, there are no consequences whatsoever, so Steph, uh, so, so Damon can do whatever he pleases, so it's like, um, but it, like I said, it, it does add some very, very intriguing elements to, to Damon's character, because, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, despite his attitude and all of that, it is a very, very fascinating thing to see. Um, like, especially when you pair it off with Stefan's, uh, you know, benevolence. Um, yeah, with with, with uh, Damon's attitude, it is, it, it, it is played really, really neatly. So, but it is really, really nice to see, okay, like, especially early on, so you're not like use uh, i guess accustomed to uh the lack of humanity and all of that it is it is a very very um uh, interesting uh prospect to bring up like even if it's early out the gate so um and uh it, and it does um you know gets the viewers to to 
to, um, I guess, have this mindset of, don't count out Damon just yet. I mean, he might not be better than Stefan in terms of uh, his behaviour and all of that, but... Um, and, and yeah, he might he might maintain that very, very sinister aspect to his character. But don't, you know, completely write him off and all of that, I guess. So, yeah. Um, and especially if we're dealing with, like, like vampires and all of that, of course, with this show. Um, obviously, in my time of watching uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, for example, there's been a case where... You're introduced to a character, uh, or a vampire even, or, or just a character in general, I would say, that might seem very, very troublesome. Um, who might give you that sinister vibe, but like later down the line, you're really, really um, warm to, to that character. There is one character in particular that I am thinking about, uh, for sure. Um, I can hazard a guess that 90% of people might have an idea, might be on the same page as me. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to say it just in case because it is a very, very fascinating journey. So, uh, and and there does seem to be this tease uh, given his, uh, his um, the, the pain that is obviously there for Damon. There is that tease about, okay, well, um, you know, watch this space because... It is easy to assume with the with these first two episodes, Damon is not going to be likable, is he? So, uh, just just with uh, how sinister he is, poor Caroline got a, got the brunt of of um, his um, malevolence. So yeah, it is easy to to think that this is going to be a character that has no redeeming qualities, etc. But yeah, so. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, it's still early days. I'm only three episodes in, so... Uh, heck, this might just all be a red herring. And he... Because given, of course, Stefan trying to reach that humanity, Damon uh, tried to prove, yeah, you think I've still got that human element. I don't give a shit. And uh, poor Tanner got, um, got the worst of it, so... Yeah. He just had a really, really bad time this episode, though. Because uh, from both... Um, Salvador Brothers, because, um, obviously, Stefan, um, <laughs> humiliated him, so, and then, uh, Damon just ended him, so, yeah, but, so, yeah, both Salvador Brothers just absolutely making that life, uh, th making that man's life hell, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the writing was on the wall that he that both Salvatore brothers would um would would be the bane of uh, I guess his existence um from from just Stefan uh, in that in that first part of things so yeah but uh like I said though with Stefan he is trying to uh, reach that humanity like the fact that um he acknowledges the fact that um he, uh, that 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 Damon does have feelings for Elena, um, and you know he's not. I mean, low key he might be a bit concerned, but he is not totally freaking out as if um, oh you're a, you're an absolute dick and all of that. He acknowledges because of the whole Catherine situation. So, um, yeah, he's he's been trying to extrapolate that humanity in a kind of similar vein to how Damon tried to to bring out that that killer instinct that uh, to 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 bring out the prospect that Damon can uh, that Stefan can be like Damon so it is a nice little time uh, it, it is a nice little occurrence of uh you know how the turn tables isn't it by um Stefan trying to bring out that humanity um and as we've obviously seen with um that longing for for Elena um, it is possible, um, and it's just easy to assume, like, after what happened to poor Tanner, that, okay, lost cause, can't do anything about it, but, um, it's gonna take a, it's a, it's a, it's gonna be a work in progress, it's not something that you could just switch on, uh, overnight, I guess, with, with Damon and his character, so yeah, but... Like I said, it was very, very interesting to go into his character, uh, or, well, Damon's character in this episode. So, um, yeah. 
Um, so we'll just have to wait and see how things do play out for him. But yeah, great stuff. Um, I thought I I really um, was just ready for fists to fly in regards to the whole Jeremy Tyler situation. Tyler's a knob. Um, I mean, yeah, I get that Jeremy is um, um, struggling and all of that and that, um, you know, what is happening and all of that is not healthy, um, especially with the relationships he might be impacting. But Tyler really, in this episode, Tyler um, just essentially poked the bear. Um to it wasn't just it wasn't just a Jeremy it was also to um bloody Stefan as well um he thought oh you know what I'm gonna humiliate him because I'm a knob um so yeah and uh yeah he he was just he was I mean Jeremy was his main target in this episode but foy um I mean with with Jeremy's character it is always going to be a very interesting prospect to see where his story does go, as I mentioned uh, in the last episode, um, because um, it is a very, very sad circumstance and you just want you just want to root for him. But um, at the same time, you also worry about what kind of consequential things he could do, like with Stefan, for example. Um, obviously, he's going to be fine about things because... Um, of um, his vampire nature. But that is now spelled curiosity for Elena because it's like, no, I saw that shit. I, I saw it. It's it's not like, oh, you, you, it, you might have just, you might have just thought you saw it, but it, it, I'm fine. No, she saw it clearly. So questions are starting to dance around with her, especially with how Bonnie was not really um, feeling too chipper. And just as she was taking a warming to Stefan, yeah, um, but yeah, I was wondering when those numbering, because uh, I was wondering at first, as is, is that numbering that Bonnie was going through, um, like um, eight fourteen twenty two, is that gonna play in uh, in any kind of relation to uh, the past and all of that? But yeah, uh, it was all leading to poor Tanner, poor Tanner. So yeah, but. Um, yeah, it was really, really great stuff. I am very intrigued to see how this, um, potential triangle might play out. Um, because, yeah, um, it's, it's, it, 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 like I said, this episode has brought up some very interesting elements for Damon's character. And the fact that Elena had that dream, uh, is very, very interesting as well. Um, so there, there could be a little bit of attraction, um, towards, um, Damon, but, um, when he tried to, um, when he tried his look on, on Elena, uh, thankfully the, the necklace thing that Stefan gave to Elena, uh, worked its charm, but she was not having any of it, so, but that dream might speak volumes about where things might go in terms of like a potential triangle f uh, further down the line so yeah but um yeah overall a uh, neat episode loved how um we explore Damon's character a bit further in this episode and uh yeah um it does open the doorway for like us to be intrigued with his character a lot more uh, as we go through this show so yeah but until then i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoy this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time